Hi and welcome to section 2, Exploring the Serverless Framework. In the previous section, you learned how to use the AWS Management Console to create Lambda functions and APIs. Now we will use the Serverless Framework to programmatically create APIs and Lambda functions. We will use the Serverless Command Line Interface to deploy and test our functions. This will tremendously speed up your development processes. By the way, the term serverless generally refers to applications that make heavy use of third-party cloud services, such as AWS Lambda. These services are also sometimes referred to as cloud functions, serverless microservices, or serverless functions. It doesn't mean that there are no servers involved anymore. It's just that you don't have to manage and operate these servers yourself. This is handled by the cloud provider who takes care of things like scalability, high availability, security, performance and so on. Okay, let's start with the first video of section 2, an introduction to the serverless framework. In the first video we are going to take a look at the serverless framework documentation, how to install it and then we'll try out our first commands. We are here on the main landing page of the serverless framework, serverless.com. Let's head over to the docs. Here you find all information that you need. We'll take a quick look at the installation section. The first thing that you need to have installed is Node.js and you will find some information how to install it on your local machine. For running serverless we need Node.js version 4 or higher. If you don't have installed Node.js already, please do so now and then resume with this video. I have opened my terminal and the first thing that we need to check if we have the right version of Node installed. I have installed Node version 6, which is higher than 4, so we are alright. Next I'll type in a command using npm, the Node package manager, to install the serverless framework. And I want to install it globally so I can access it from anywhere on my terminal no matter in which directory I am. This will download all the required dependencies and set up my path so that I can execute the serverless commands from my command line. So here I have installed the newest version of serverless which currently of the time of recording is version 1.61. Now I can type in the serverless command. And this will show me all the subcommands that I can use to use the serverless command line interface. If you haven't completed the install and setup uh, steps from previously, uh, you need to uh, execute the config credentials command. Serverless framework needs to access your AWS account to execute certain AWS commands on your behalf. It needs to be able to create resources, modify resources and delete resources. Instead of typing serverless, you can also use the shortcut SLS. And to learn more about a certain command, you can type in SLS, the command name, minus minus help. Alright. In the next videos, we'll try out some of these commands and learn more about them.